purpose, and so he was very interested to see this. So I thought it would make a good outing for Valentine's Day. Phyllis Saarinen planned a special day for her husband at Sweetwater Wetlands Park. Her husband Arthur has been confined to a wheelchair for two years. A retired environmental engineer and longtime conservationist, she thought he would like the outdoor setting. We birded all over the world, and this would be an excellent location for him to enjoy. Phyllis researched the park and came to check it out before their visit. And after seeing handicapped parking, signs, and a wooden walkway, she determined it was accessible. Signs like this one leave people to think that once they enter the park, the rest will also be wheelchair accessible. But their nature walk ended where the wooden path gave way to gravel. We got about this far and then had to come back because the wheelchair just doesn't work on gravel, you know? It has relatively narrow wheels. And as they walked back, they encountered more trouble. Trying to lift it up to get the rear wheels up over that lip and couldn't do it. And then uh, another couple came along and said, here, let us help you. And together we lifted the chair. The city is now aware of the problem and is working to find a solution. One of them is adding an, uh, some additives to the existing material that we have there, which will help solidify it or possibly even paving it. Phyllis says Oak Hammock Retirement Community is bringing busloads of people to the park, so this could be a recurring problem unless it gets fixed.